Hi, I'm Erin. I am a mother of two. I'm 41 years old and I am genetically destined to develop early onset Alzheimer's disease. When I say that, people wonder what I mean. Is this a genetic predisposition? Am I likely to develop it because I have an APOE4 mutation? What's the situation? And unfortunately, it's bigger than that. There are rare genetic mutations on three genes, APP, presenilin 1, and presenilin 2, that can cause a variety of different things, but one of them is an overproduction of amyloid, which leads to developing early onset Alzheimer's, often in one's 30s, 40s, or 50s. Now, is it 100% guaranteed that you'll develop Alzheimer's disease? No. I mean, first of all, not everyone lives to the age where they would develop it. Um, but also, there are some cases which are known as escapees in our community. Uh, these are people who, despite having the genetic mutation, did not develop Alzheimer's disease at the time that they were expected to. One of these escapees was in Colombia, and they have determined that the reason uh, that she didn't develop Alzheimer's disease is she had another rare genetic mutation, now known as the Christchurch mutation, that um, counteracted the effects of the familial Alzheimer's disease mutation. Um, there's another man who we got the chance to meet in Toronto this past summer who is believed to have developed some sort of resilience because of his exposure to incredibly high heat for extended periods of time when he was in, I believe, the Air Force early in his career. So now they say that our odds are 99.5% rather than 100% of developing Alzheimer's disease, but the clinical trial that I'm starting aims to prove that we can influence that, and I hope they're right.